What is the best frontal exercise? I set out to answer this question with the help of my surface electromyography sensors which measure the activity of my muscles. I chose 10 total exercises to experiment with, each being done with a weight roughly equal to 80% of my one rep max. To compare exercises, we're using a metric known as percent maximum voluntary contraction, which basically is a percentage of how hard a muscle is contracting, with 100% being the highest EMG amplitude I was able to achieve while performing a baseline test. Our first exercise is the classic front raise done with a neutral grip. After excluding the highest and lowest data value, we get an average percent MVC of 105%. Performing the same exercise but with a pronated grip, we get a value of 107%, which basically means they're identical. Now we perform a cable front raise, and this actually results in 122% MVC, which possibly makes a case for this being the best front raise option. Now we switch to pressing movements, with the first being a flat dumbbell bench press. This results in a substantially lower 76% MVC reading. Meanwhile, a typical 30 degree incline bench records a 112% MVC amplitude, which is already higher than the front raises. Similarly, a roughly 60 degree bench angle, which is typically considered a press specifically designed for the front delts, results in 130% value. As for a typical seated shoulder press, we get a basically completely equivalent average amplitude of 132%. Now we move to another 60 degree front delt press, however this time with a Smith machine, which surprisingly enough results in 149% MVC average. While we're at it, I perform a Smith machine overhead press, with a basically equivalent 150% reading, which is proportionally comparable to the dumbbells. Lastly, I perform a half-kneeling landmine press, which yields us a result of 153% MVC. However, it's worth noting the extremely high activation seeing the eccentric and resting position of this movement. Here are the full results, and as you can see, the landmine press as well as the two Smith machine presses appear to be the best exercises solely in terms of EMG activation. However, we need to realize that a well-balanced hypertrophy program should include exercises that are the hardest in the shortened position as well as in the lengthened position, and EMG reading is generally favored the shortened position exercises, as well as the fact that they cannot measure passive tension, which are two major reasons why we need to look at this data subjectively, not just take it at face value.